Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Today, we're going to continue the main quest into the second part of Act 1 and we're going to head to the city's capital, the, this land's capital, I mean. And we're gonna start off the quest Pyres of Novigrad. We're gonna visit Triss, so anybody who's familiar with The Witcher also probably knows about that red-haired handsome Gorgeous sorceress. Another one of uh, Geralt's love interests. So I walked to this uh, border post since it's the closest thing I could get to uh, to Novigrad, and I think I should be able to uh, pass through here, even though the marker says I can't. There we go. Fuck. Although that guy said fuck, but hey. So, see you guys in Novigrad. We can see it already over there in the distance, but we'll get uh, a lot closer in a minute. So while we're blazing through the fields, maybe a bit of a, an update on how it's going on in Novigrad. Because it's not that fun of a place to be in right now. Mainly Let's because uh, the witch hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire have been uh, busy persecuting uh, any magical being, any non-human they can find and get uh, their hands on. So let's try and get inside, that will be a nice start. So as you can see there's all sorts of people going from priests and horse next to each other. So let's see if we can't just find Triss, Triss's house. And here we can already see a shrine to the eternal fire. I dare you and to try and put that fire out. <laughs> So Novigrad is huge. So now we're at the, the harbor slash market area and Triss lives very close by. So I'm going to dismount and do the rest on foot. You can already see on the map there's also a lot of merchants. And maybe I'll pay a visit to this place here. This place is the bank. Well, well, Cradle look who's of the here. eternal the fire, himself yet it is here, the darkness How raises its hideous sense? head, a deceitful doctor, There's a guy. as commander oh, wait. of the guard, a band of charlatans, you play Gwent, diviners, don't you? and witches sure. poised so you to pinch your purity I and prosperity, play. the time has come play for this to time. end, for us to cast off it. I'm gonna first check out this because I was uh, missing everything. So there's a Doppler on the on the pyre here. So you see, this quest is not called Pyres of Novigrad for nothing. No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. The others are I wanted to live like you! Help me, kind folk! Please! <laughs> so a Doppler is a shape shift shapeshifter. And actually one that girl knows. A gruesome sight. 
Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. So Dudu is another Doppler that we uh, Winds howling. know a lot better. But first I was going to show you the bank if I can find it again. I think it was over there. Yeah. So Mr. Vivaldi. How can I be of service? Well, I'd like to convert some currency, because not all coin we find we can actually use. There are two types of currency we cannot actually use right now. Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. Because there is no nothing e anywhere in the city. So now we got 1,028 crowns from the Florence and the... Well, the other thing. I can't, I can't come on come on to the name right now. But any coin other than crowns you're carrying can be converted at that bank. So, let's try and find Triss. And her house appears to be ransacked. Hey, sod off. We're looting here. Hmm. Let's talk. Not here for the loot. Interested in the sorcerers who lived here. And we're supposed to believe that. Yeah. Most likely hiding in some rat trap with the rest of them. Okay. Who's she hiding from? Temple guards cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Huh, lovely name. <laughs> Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery if there ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? I oh, meant no offense. Okay, and where can we find this Putrid Grove? Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. If you know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah. For a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. So, so Menge. Cool for me. Wonder why. So that's Menge. It's Menge. Temple God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, well, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerer's pity shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings, and the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. And I don't think there will be nice things said to those you people. Know bank okay, that guard is freaking away. Hmm. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. Okay. Cut nothing on me. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine and the eternal fires. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, you'll make a mistake is inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Burn at the stake. Be seeing you. 
Bye. Love you too. So. Now. They arrested those two guys for looting. But that doesn't keep us from doing the same. So I am going to loot this place. Uh, and I'm going to skip to where we go up to the upper floor. So see you in a second. And of course, as I say that, there are uh, clues already available at the lower floor. So. Herbs, roots, just turn to healing. And then there's this hairbrush. Hairbrush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. Yeah, nothing new, since we already knew it was her house. And there we have these things. Are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. Yeah, also something that uh, that was apparent in the books. She fell ill one time, and Geralt couldn't really do anything to help her since she is allergic to potions. It's not really polite to go through her things, but there's a lot of food in here, and I can use all the food I can find. Since we're under that much difficulty. Trisses. Never knew how to drop them on the floor. So that's actually her old outfit, I think. And there's the Rose of Remembrance. The Rose of Remembrance. All dried up. So it's it's kind of a symbol for the love between uh, Gerald and Triss. Something she holds holds on to. So let's go back downstairs because this we, you don't actually need to search her house. But well, it's always nice to stock up on a bit of supplies. There was a little bit of lore in there, so... I don't think there's a, a cellar. No, just carpets. Okay, let's get back outside. And I'm gonna try and find a beggar. Try to convince them to tell me... Okay. Probably seen a thief already. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. And it's gone. I've been robbed! Thief! So, forget the plan about uh, the daggers. Didn't he do. Didn't he go this way? Huh. Okay. Let's go talk with some beggars. There we go. Arms for the poor. Take pity on me, misery, good folk, and aid a man crippled by misfortune. Word is, nothing's free in Novigrad. Oh, none of them come bursting with questions. Now, where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything? I need to see this, and I need to find that one who robbed me, brother. Fuck if I know. Hmm. Let's try it anyway. There's this place in Novigrad they call the Putrid Grove. Aye, it's about right. Well, Novigrad's full of nooks and crannies with odd names. Looking to sightsee by a bloody map. Heard men like you frequent this alley. And I've heard they fed you all shit and you smiled and ate it. Now, don't make no offence. Go in peace. Okay. So that one wasn't really talkative. Let's see if we can't find anyone else. So there seems to be one here as well. Okay. Arms for the poor. You lame? No, Charles. Both legs in perfect order. And me arms look like a windmill's wings. There. See me waving them? Looky here. Just look. In my mind, thorough adult. Okay, let's try and small talk him first. Been like this long, adult. Since me mother birthed me. Here's where it's adult. There. Showing you with me finger. See that? Me indicating. And he's a dumbass. I gotta find the place they call the Putrid Grove. I know it but won't say. I know it but won't say. Why not? Not allowed to say. I would tell you though, if you didn't push, weren't so insistent. If you like, come again. I tell you then. Guess your mind truly is addled. Didn't I say so? Okay. 
So. Ah, oh, it's you again. Another chat, same as the first. My mind's thorough adult, but the rest of me spit as a fiddle. Okay, let's try it again then. So, like I said, I'm looking for the putrid grove. Second time round, your wish is my command. It's that away, there. That away, meaning where? In lace halls. There's this alley, past the gate. Not at all putrid and not a grove. Fools call it that, but I know better. And anyone can go there? Of course, unless he forgets to say the old sow's farrowed piglets might not let you in then, but that's easy enough to say. Listen, the old sow's farrowed piglets. See? Thanks for your help. I like this guy. <laughs> that was interesting. Because the game points you in the direction of the thieves first. Hi, Roach. But this seems a lot easier. No needing to uh, tail anyone. So, seems like we found the place. Open up. Who are you and what you want? Um. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated kill at me things. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. So we actually know the password. Old sows, pharaoh piglets. Ah. Huh. Welcome to the Grove. Graphic. And that actually worked. For free. Great. And we enter the Putrid Grove. Looks like any old suburbs to me. But let's go find this king of beggars. What ails you? Can't see out one eye. So, another door. Oh, okay. Oh, and there we have Triss. Immediately at the About right time place. we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hey, Triss. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Well, uh, you meet me for something? Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have. But I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. I know who's well crafted. I've got plans. Big plans. Far reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. Okay. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. Well, one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. Well, after what we've I'm seen, glad someone like you I can agree with that. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. 
Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. So Triss also is wearing her uh, alternate costume, t same as Yennefer and Ciri. In case you were wondering what she was wearing. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six Okay. Might have been a bit too fast. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to par. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Yeah, her dress is pretty revealing. I take it you're a Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Yeah, that's a question we should ask you. So Triss has been in a quite romantic relationship with Geralt. Okay. Doesn't give me a lot of time to talk about things, but hey. Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this. But they believed me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? Yeah. All right, we'll do it. I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. The second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. <laughs> Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks, nothing. Turned out, he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn, you went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. Alright, secret passage. Um, yeah, okay. That was hard to miss. 